Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com New Windows 11 build to look at This is 22563 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel And I'm on my Surface Go in tablet mode Because there's a couple of tablet features I wanted to show you in this new build I should also say that this build is available for ARM64 devices as well The previous build wasn't So it's not quite got quite as many new features as last week's build But there are some things around File Explorer and uh, tablet mode And here you can see I've got the new tablet mode uh, on my Surface Go, if I swipe up from the bottom with my finger, you see it brings up the the um, the, the start buttons or the start the taskbar with the with the buttons on there, all in sort of a large form factor. And if I click away, it goes back down again. So I can swipe up like that, and then I can swipe up again to bring up the start menu like that. So it's kind of that. Uh, it makes much more sense to use it in a tablet like that so that you've got the full screen in tablet um, and if I rotate it round, I won't do it because it messes my video recording up it, it's the same in, in portrait mode as in landscape mode so this is a really nice way of using it with a tablet and uh, you can turn this feature on and off it's called settings personalize taskbar behaviors and the new setting is automatically hide the taskbar when using devices tablet it's on by default and I actually really like that you notice these bit these icons at the bottom here are really large as well so um that you can clearly easily tap them with the finger so it makes windows a lot easier to use on a tablet along with the other thing like the gradual swipe with the notifications and things like that and the uh, swipe up start menu make it uh, much better to use now there are a couple of other features as well in this uh the widgets which in tablet mode you can just swipe across with your finger like that uh, Microsoft say they're making them more dynamic so they're um, adding new content in uh, depend using some AI to add some new content in basically they said if you've customized it already they'll leave those exactly as you are but if you haven't customized it then you'll get new widgets added in there depending on on your usage so uh, you get this kind of uh, widgets look on there Uh, something I'll just mention, I can show you, but if you're, there's new group policies for uh, Windows Update notifications as well if you're an IT admin. Search for quick access when you're searching up here um, has been improved, so it includes your content from OneDrive, downloads, and any index locations. So um, you, this is a great entry point into, into searching. Just uh, tap up to here like that, and yeah, you can start searching, and um, it's going to access everything, including your, your OneDrive. And your thumbnails will also show if you add something in OneDrive, um, like that one, the, uh, that 10x file there, it, it, it'll show you the thumbnail, even if it's not on the local machine. In my case, it's synced with the green tick, but you, you know what I mean. Here's a new setting as well. Show Microsoft Edge tabs when uh, snapping or pressing all tabs. So it'll show you the three most recent tabs. You can see when you, I've got there, when all, all tabbing, same when you're doing this, the snap as well. There's a couple of extra emojis on there. Um, I think one of them is troll. There you go. There's there's an example of a new one as well. Um, so there's a lot of fixes in this build as well. They fixed some performance issues with logging in um, with large temp files. They've fixed some uh, fixed some issues with the Explorer EXE crashing. They fixed some issues with the auto hard taskbar, uh, with the start menu, um, icons would fade in and out and things like that. They fixed some issues with OneDrive where it wouldn't show up in File Explorer. Um, there's quite a lot of issues and I'll, I'll fixes and I'll include a link on the uh, blog post with this. If you're going from build 22563, you may uh, issue. Uh, end up with an error zero percent stuck on zero depend downloading uh, Microsoft said they're gonna have a fix for that on a future build as well um, so that's the new features and I want to show you the tablet mode I do like that that's a great way of, uh, of using it with a touch you can find it more on digitallifestyle.com